Right, today I am, uh, this is the day after I cooked a whole shoulder of lamb and as you can see I've already carved, cut a load of this lean meat off, get rid of the fat, I right, don't need that. But now what I'm doing is I'm ensuring that I cut it across the grain, right? Like so. So that when you're eating it, you don't get bits stuck in your teeth. And that is so annoying. So we carve right across the grain of the meat, you see. Remember this when you're carving. Because it takes a lot less chewing to eat your stuff. Especially when you get to my age. Alright. And then I shall freeze this. And I can use it for, I'm going to have, I was going to have roast potatoes with it today, but I'm going to have a sandwich. Alright. Not too bad. So we'll get a lot of meat off of this, but this was quite expensive from Asda, Walmart, that's the name of the company that I got it from. Which I know that in the States they're called Walmart, but they bought up one of our local... Um, supermarket, can't remember which one now, and it became Asda. Might have been called, I think it was called Asda actually, but now it's called Walmart. So it's Walmart, still kept the name though, for reasons, business reasons. So there's quite a bit on this, it's like a blade, see that? <coughs> and we just cut it down. Pull any fat off, go on that. Fat in lamb is the horrible taste. Look how much there is left now? Still a bit. Uh, let's cut right across here now. Get this piece out. There we go. See? Now, remember, cut across the grain. Makes it easier to eat, especially for us old folks. And then when you defrost it, see there, another piece there. It's life simpler all round, but remember, always cut across the grain. See, across the grain. Quite a large amount in there now. Anyway, by the time we finished, all the meat will be off of this shoulder blade. And then I can freeze it up in little bags. Today I'm going to have it as it is, freshly cooked. There's still a lot on here, I'm not going to put you through all that. So that's it, basically. Remove the meat from the joint when it's cold. And then it's nice for sandwiches or salads, or just have it with roast potatoes and warm it up a little bit in the microwave or whatever. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. And, uh, here's to the next. Right, there we are, there's the lamb in some brown bread. Now we've got some tomato chutney here. And we're gonna put on the top, see that? I'll put it on that bit, I think. Okay. And that's dinner today. Okay. Put that like that. Put that back in there. Take that. Oh. Put some pepper on there. Plenty of pepper. We could have had chili sauce, but I think we'll have this today. Let's turn it over, like so. Now, and that's today's dinner. It's a lamb sandwich on um, seeded bread. Yummy. I won't be hungry today.